If you haven't done so already, please pause the video to read the question or to reread it. In this question, we are asked to calculate the height of a tower. We can label that delta y. What was a little confusing about this question is that they gave us two times, 1.5 seconds for the stone to reach the top of the tower, and then an additional one second to move beyond the tower and reach its maximum height. Let's explore this question from the maximum height of the stone perspective. And to begin that, we can write down what we know. Well, we know that the time required to reach the maximum height is going to be the 1.5 seconds plus the additional second. So, of course, that total time is 2.5 seconds. We also know that for any object moving vertically freely through space, its acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We also can insert the final velocity of the stone, because for any object that reaches its maximum height, its final vertical velocity is going to be 0 meters per second. And from this information, we're going to be able to calculate the initial velocity of the stone using an equation from kinematics. You might want to pause the video here and decide which equation you're going to use. But after doing so, you should arrive at the following equation. So we can go ahead and plug in what we know. We know the final velocity is zero. The initial velocity we don't yet know. The acceleration and the time. Kind of running out of room here, but we should have calculated the initial velocity as 24.5 meters per second. Now let's change our perspective and look at the perspective of the height of the tower. Now the nice thing about calculating that initial velocity is that we can carry it over and use it for this portion of the stone's motion. The acceleration is still negative 9.8 because the stone is moving vertically. Now the time required is going to be different. It's not going to be the two and a half seconds that we used before. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to to figure out what time we'll be plugging in here. Now of course the problem states that it took one and a half seconds for the stone to reach the top of the tower so we can enter that in here. And from this information we're going to be able to solve for the height of the tower. Now we'll be using a different equation from the kinematics equation, so again, you might want to pause the video to figure out which one you might consider using. But based on the information we now have, we can go ahead and use this equation. And we'll simply plug in what we know for the stone's motion here. And I'm running out of room, but we'll be able to squeeze it in there. So the vertical displacement of the stone, and hence the height of the tower, should have turned out to be 25.7 meters.